No, really good work, Willie. That was the best joke that's ever been told on any one of our podcasts. I hope you got that. Did you get that, Willie? I didn't. Oh. For fuck. Shit. Uh, we can't tell it again because it's fucking... Well, we can't tell anything we've been talking about for the last four hours. <laughs> oh, my God. We've been in uh, the hey. studios for a meeting and I think Jarch and I focused for three minutes? Three minutes. Out of, what, three hours? Three hours. How did we work in, in actual businesses? Uh, Ritalin. But neither of us have taken that. Correct. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not winking. What? I didn't wink. Because, you know, I was obviously in <laughs> breakfast radio. <laughs> so I had to focus quite a lot in you know, breakfast radio. No, I was not laughing at that just because uh, you've, you've never once mentioned that. Uh, I, you did not work in breakfast radio. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For, whoa, whoa, for whoa. whom? For, for Fitzy and <laughs> No, we actually... All right, if you're driving bedwetters, I'd Sorry. strap in because this is going to be a fucking shit show. An absolute shit show. We this is going to be a big old dump truck of an app. We're going we're gonna to dump that fat track, fat, fat, fat ass there back it up. Is. There it is. Plus, Willie just told the funniest joke I've ever heard and we didn't even fucking record we it. We weren't recording. Mm. It's just ridiculous. That happens to me all the time. I just say the funniest, darndest things. Do you think? And no one hears them because I live on my own. Do you know? So, you know, it's <laughs> all the funny content only no, Kevin gets. Don't bring the fucking bedwetters down first in the first two minutes. Oh, Fucking well. loner. Um, you know what show you'd be really good on? What? No, I'm not having you be mean. You're gonna fucking say hell, Lou. You're going to say something like... Desperate Housewives? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest loser. <laughs> No, the actual show would Apologise to me, both so of you. So sorry. The actual show that... Sorry, Mummy. Thank sorry, you. Mummy. The actual show you'd be good on as an adult would be kids say the darndest things. Because you could sit up there on that stool and just be like, I... Well, I, well I've actually ordered um, coat hangers from Amazon two weeks ago. And you'd go, no, you didn't. And you go, yep, I did. And I think that's really fun. I can't even, I can't even like, back it because like, that, that's what would happen. <laughs> it would just be, just picture this. Six-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old, Louisa. Six-year-old, five-year-old, six, six, six. I'm like Will Ferrell from Elf. Sorry? <laughs> you, you pronounced so many things wrong in that sentence. It was insane. I'm like Will Ferrell from Elf. You said it. You're like Will Ferrell from Elf. Will Farrell from like Elf. The elf, how he's like the, he's an elf, but he's bigger than everyone else. An elf. 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 Elf, that's what I'm saying. You're elf. Saying, you're saying elf. I'm not saying elf, Stuart. You Stone are. the flame and crows. Say elf and say elf. Elf, elf. Wow. That's the exact same thing. Same thing, buddy. If you two gang up on me this whole fucking episode, I'll come over there and give you a piece of my mind. I reckon you say it into your phone and then listen to it. Or just and listen you to you with your ears when you say it, you fucking idiot. You just said the same word twice. Who are you calling a fucking idiot? Because you're looking at me and it felt like it was aimed at Willie. It was aimed at you, bud. Well, I think you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Louisa! So... It's not appropriate. Shove it up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, at elf. So you... you so, I don't... We don't need to go into So you this. are like a child. You admit, admit you're like a child. So, well, sometimes. Everyone is, though. You're like a child. Correct. You can't keep you occupied for longer than three minutes. Well, Steph's tried, but... Doesn't happen. There's a minute 30 cat timer on that bad boy. Yeah. You got intermission. Sorry, Mum. For a minute She literally goes, D Darling, just the sexual innuendo of late. It's just a lot. Well, look, we <laughs> and just I said, yeah, can't well, help it. I said, Mum, when you got opinions like that, shove that back up your endo, is what I said. Jack so. Edward Archdale. <laughs> I didn't. I you did. wouldn't speak... Those doth words to your mother. I doth not speak to my b b you beloved mother. Doth mother. not speak of those wordeths. What song? <laughs> this this no. episode is like a, a a a club with just us three. Yeah, I know. And the bedwetters are listening. Correct. In on. Correct. At least they're in on all of it. Uh. I think it's tribute by Tenacious. 
tenacious D. Be you angels. No. We are but men. But hold on. Rock. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Shut the fuck up. No. Stop. Stop it. Yep. You're actually being yep. inappropriate. Yep. You need to rein it in yep. and you need to take a look at yourself in yep. the mirror and you need to say. I don't like doing that. Well, you, you, I wouldn't if I looked like you Correct. as well. Correct. It's rash. But you need to say, check yourself before you wreck yourself, Jack. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but right. I yep. Okay. The reason is, though, mm-hmm. Louisa, because. Do they say the word senorita in that song? But they definitely say doth twice. Is it doth? We are but men. Oh. No. Get the Can lyrics we get the up? lyrics up to Willapedia? He goes, um, and I was just listening to it the other day. I'm like, this motherfucker's saying doth. It's a great song. It's a banger. Did I say thong? Fickle googie, fickle googie, googie, googie. Did I say thong? It's a great thong. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I think the first time I said thong. That thong, the thong, thong, thong. Um, okay, Bid Widders, we're trying to read as fast so as we can. So this is the greatest best song tribute. Me and my brother going, uh, shame. Trying to read as fast as we can, but it's not looking good for all three of us. Go down. The beast was stunned. Uh, yes, yes, here. Once every hundred thousand years or so. When the sun doth shine and the moon doth glow and the grass doth grow. Needless to say. The, the beast, beast was, was done. Oh, sorry. Be you angels. Now, we are but men. Rock. Ah! Maybe it was just the doth that got me. But anyway, they say doth three times. It's a great song. It's a fucking banger. It's an absolute yeah, was there, was there a, Did you have a, an end point to that? Or was that just a bit of ADHD? ADHD, Willie. I think the end point, uh, Willipedia, was the fact that they just said doth in the <laughs> <laughs> if if I if I res, re, resort uh, back to that meeting we had for three hours, um, at one point <laughs> I was pretending to be a horse commentator and Jarch had his hat flat pulled over his eyes and there were a few other things, the Tommy Shelby stuff that we probably won't mention too much. Oh, that's kind of funny. Should I do it? <laughs> <laughs> no, your mum just told you to stop with. Well, they say this is an innuendo. This is blatant sexual intercourse. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'm telling you not to. Right, Linda. No. Right there, Linda. Yeah, work it. Work it, Linda. Oh, yeah, right there. Like that, Linda. Tommy! Can't believe your foot. You're my brother. Fucking Linda. Oh, I, fucking, I reckon Tommy's actually not bad. Little fucking root. Right. We found it very funny the image of Arthur having to watch. What's his name? Tommy. Tommy. Root Linda while Alfie was in the corner. Peeny Blinders. Peeny Blinders. <laughs> <laughs> Peeny blinders. Right. Oh, I like that, Linda. Right. Lovely, Linda. That yeah, could be right on there. a... Oh, um, right there. Now, work the taint, Linda. It was because we were talking about porn. <laughs> we were. So that right. could be Don't a, miss the balls, Linda. That could be a... Um, what do they call it? It would be a peaky, Peeny Blinders. Cos, is it called cosplay or did I make that in my head? Yeah, you knew what it was called, kid. You said cos very quick. <laughs> he said cos. Erotica? No, it's cosplay. A bit of cos... The dressing up as the Peaky Blinders. Yes. But then you turn it into erotica by making them buff each other. But uh, Correct. But cosplay is uh, a category. If you were to, if you, you were if, to go into Pornhub. And you would know of that category well? Matt, I've just been watching Peeny Blinders all morning. <laughs> Yourself. Correct. In the mirror. In the mirror, yeah. <laughs> With nothing else there. Because <laughs> Steph's at work. All right. All right, Linda. <laughs> Cracking set, Linda, right? Well, Jack... Let's get into the podcast, shan't we? Shan't we, Louisa? <laughs> like, Dothith, please. So, what did you get up to this weekend, mate? Well, I have been in New Zealand. Fuck, that's right. I had a wedding. Now, run me through it. It was a great time. So, I went back to Palmy North. Now, I got a public service announcement. Per se. I've been giving Palmy North a bit of shit. Yeah, bud. A lot of shit. A lot of I've shit. I've never heard you say a positive thing about it. It was a great, it was a great time. Really? I had a great time going back. It was very nostalgic and peaceful for me. Okay. Going through my old roots, you know. <laughs> Going through your old roots. Fucking hell, I better text TDD, hey buddy. I'll check up on the misso from the from the weekend. <laughs> I mean like you know getting back to your roots. Gregory, Tim, I saw Samuel. Blesh popped his head in, literally. I saw <laughs> I mean, going back to oh, your old roots. I you know? You, I know, we know. Okay, good. We just understood you. Just have one of the slip of the tongue. TDD. In more ways TDD than one. TDD has nothing to worry about. Good. My sweet little angel. Good. Little. 
<laughs> anyway, um, so our public service announcement, Palmy North was a great time. Okie doke. One thing that did infuriate me is that um, Stinky Lou is international. Okay. Because I went for a hot girl lap around Palmy North okay. and two different people died. Yelled out Stinky Lou. <laughs> like I'm in Palmerston North. <laughs> Fuck me, bruh. Like that, I couldn't believe it. I was just like, are you fucking two. kidding me? In one hot girl lap. Two in one hot girl lap in an, in another co- in a foreign country is pretty wild stuff. It's a lot. So that yeah, ticks me right off. Yeah. <sighs> you had this stinking, that stinking yeah. up that walk. No, I was mm-hmm. not. Polluting fucking Palmerston North more Jack. than it already does. But no, the wedding was fabulous. Taylor looked gorgeous. It's a tough bit being a bridesmaid in the sense that you're getting your makeup done from like 10.30 in the morning. Oh. No, Jack, oh. it is a big day to wear a lot of makeup. How you got you, it on the whole day. And darling, how'd you do it? Well, Jack, I had my makeup done and then my hair done. And I've still got the hairspray in. Do you actually? Yeah, I haven't washed my hair. You haven't I'm showered a, since, sun, since no, Sunday. No, I've showered. I just haven't washed my hair. Why did not? you fake tan over there as well? <laughs> yeah, did you actually uh, FT before the wedding or did you just get that one before? Also, Dale, be careful of the couch. You're also blending into the couch. You're wearing all white. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Now, we heard a rumour, didn't we? This, I might leave this podcast. Louisa. I might leave you too. Louisa. Don't, please, no. Will, What's it'll the rumour? Because be... I hadn't finished my weekend yarn yet. Well, please spin, keep spinning, darling. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> I did a wonderful wedding, Taylor and Tyler. Uh, Great. Sorry. Tyler, Tyler and Tyler. You, oh, yeah, you, we went through that. Are you... F- you are the stupidest person I've met in my entire life. <laughs> so sorry, but... get a pot kettle. You, it's a fucking pleasure to meet you. You literally did roses are red puns about them the entire last podcast. Uh, yeah, most of them were about rooting. Yeah, and you said Taylor and Tyler about 450 times. Kid? <laughs> I just, I just forget things very easily, Yes, mate. that's why I said you are the dumbest person I've ever met. Okay. So it's warranted. Good word. Now, please continue. So I, I did one of them. That was the rumour the I was going to bring up. So we heard a little rumour from a little birdie, a.k.a. You, mummy, you, you told us. <laughs> it's not uh, a rumour. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a statement Yeah, yeah, yeah. You me. just literally told us. It's yeah. just a story. It's a story. She yeah. spun the yarn. I sp- it's told a story. That you did one of our infamous, now I infamous, red, r- Roses are Red. By the way, Bedwet, a shout out to the Lottie because a lot of great ones in the comments. Mm. Fuck, fuck me, Dad. I was pissing myself. <coughs> Which one did you do? I did. Recite it for us. Roses are red. This wedding's a hoot. Come on, Taylor. Give that new hubby a root. It's good stuff. It's really good stuff. It went down well. <coughs> did it go down well? It went down very well. I had a lot so of people she. saying how. <sighs> Your mum's right. <laughs> Your mum's absolutely right. Oh, he's. Would you say about my mum? Oh, yeah, I said fuck up. You said I said you don't fucking speak about my fucking mum. I'll fucking come over there. Leave my mum out of it. You I'll fucking come over there. So, and how did, was the rest of your speech uh, taken? Good. Very, it was very quick. Just a little bit about Taylor and I and then some nice heartfelt things about Taylor and Tyler. Yep. Then ended on that and then it was just a big party. Any other gags in there? <clears throat> nah, just a, a couple of lol memories. It was very memories. short. It was about... A minute and a half, but you did a minute and oh, a half. Okay, let's call it two and a half. Like that though, nice and quick. In like and out. it, and then the, the travel home. No, Jack, it's just woke up and then we had to drive to Wellington because you can't fly out of Palmerston North. And I was with my one of my really good friends, Emma. She's got a baby called Teddy. He's about one and a half. He is the cutest thing you've ever seen. Like he was very well behaved. So it was M, Teddy in the seat be- between us, and then me. So I was obviously helping her out. But it's f- it's a fucking shit show traveling with a toddler. Mm. So he's like, M's got the pram, and well, he's she's a bit of like, a, he's more of a waddler than a toddler. <laughs> he's a big boy. <laughs> he is. He little chubby bubby. He's he actually so is. He's cute. reminiscent, but. The cutest kids are the fattest kids. He's adorable. He's got this little pucker, little tum tum. So he is reminiscent of a. He's very olive as well. Yes. Got dark brown hair. He's reminiscent of a of a young Lou. He's so cute. Well, she, he is adorable. Well, just the rotundness. He is the cutest thing you've ever seen. Correct. 
What are you saying then? Just saying it's a big unit, like you were when you were young. Yeah, so what? We were both big units. That's fine. I know. He's adorable. There's a little photo of him where he's got his hand on my shoulder. So does he like Annie Lou? He loves me. We get along very well, Teddy and I. But so Em's walking with the pram down the aisle and she's trying to like fold it up and she's got a handbag over one. I think I've got Teddy holding him while she's trying to put it up the top and then she opens up her handbag and she goes, fuck. She'd bought a pasta from the, like, to take on the plane no. to feed him. It, it, like a penne pasta, olives, capers, everything, reds, like... All through her handbag. Like she's like picking up, you know, past She texts me just before and she goes, just found another one down the bottom. Fuck Like it was fucking dead. everywhere. And then we were trying to like entertain Teddy the whole flight home while still being like hungover and tired. And then as we were coming into landing, he's got his little headphones on watching Peppa Pig. The plane lands on one kind of wheel and goes, Ooh, like that. And I go, holy fucking shit. Screamed it. Like the entire plane was just like, Turn around, looked at me. I was like, mm-hmm. and then Emma and I were in tears. How can a plane? How can an entire plane turn around and look at you Sorry. when you're in first class? That makes zi- we found a we found a bit of a flaw in the yarn here, Willapedia. Look that up. Do you mean they? St- <laughs> you mean they stood up and, and got their binoculars out and looked up to the front? <laughs> looked up to the front. Did we your were- personal <laughs> attendant run up and make sure you're okay? <laughs> We were in economy. Thank you very much. <laughs> down the back, actually. Were you? Quite far down the back. Were you? We were. Okay. It was a full flight. Okay. Everyone turned from the front and the back and looked at me. Because I had yelled, and then we started laughing and giggling and snorting. Did you? Yes. Was the flight okay otherwise? It was great. He was very well behaved, little Teddy. Thank fuck. Because there's the danger there of being with a he toddler got, that it's not messed oh up. Oh, yeah. He got, he honestly was so well behaved. He got a little bit tired at the end and was sort of stretching out. You know, they get a bit crying. Mm. Em's just the funniest mum, though. She's like, come on, suck it up. Let's go. Good. Love yeah. that. It's amazing. Mate, you need a bit of that in this day and yeah. age. Just oh, a bit of tough parenting. Oh, she's very, very, very good. Like you know that. what I mean? Um, I, I like that you did a, um, I love that you did a short and sharp speech. Yes. Because I've got a theory. It's not. <laughs> It's not so much a theory, more of a f- more of a factoid. Okay, so the same as how you said there was a rumor, and it was just a story that I told you. <laughs> F- three minutes before the yeah, podcast, yeah. A, a, a speech at a wedding that's too long, too indulgent, can derail the night. Can you tell that one that you told me? No. Bugger. Let's just say I've been to weddings where it's just it's just gone on. And on to the point where people are just going, fuck me dead, mate. Like, it's always the oldies. Di- a lot of the time. At, I reckon at our wedding, everyone's got you and five I? men's. Yeah, at, at our wedding. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> Correct. Cool, yeah. Sorry, Steph. I've got something to tell All right, you. Right, Beverly. Something to tell you. Yeah, sorry, 10 day date, Josh. Yeah, I yeah. Now yeah. Getting married. So at our wedding, yeah. I'm thinking yep. five minute max. Perfect. Five men's max. Yeah, five, I think five to seven's appropriate. Five to seven is appropriate. <laughs> I can't even get angry at you Favorite anymore. Favourite thing when I shorten something and you just give me this look and then say the <laughs> actual word. <laughs> that is exactly what happens every time. You go, oh, yeah, pro- appropriate. <laughs> I think, mate, if you're going on for 20 minutes, Too you long. can fuck off. And everyone's had a bit of booze by then when the speeches are going. A lot of the time it's sit-down situation. Mm. So you're sitting there. I don't know if you... Fucking cunts know this, but if you're at a, sorry, in a friendly manner, no, in an Australian way, Australian. I cunt, know, but not it like felt, an American cunt. That felt very aggressive. Yeah, I Did agree, it? Willie. No, very that was aggressive. more. I was saying that it was like the, as it, if we were idiots. No, no, I was saying that to everyone. I know, but it not felt, just you got. But that's don't it. take your aggression out on us, buddy. This was a happy. You're cunt. going boxing after this. I am. It's okay. I am. Sorry, that wasn't like an abrasive one. That was meant to be of a friendly nature. Okay. Usually we can decide. Well, it felt very Luke abrasive to me. Yeah, yeah, tell your face that. Okay, you know what? I don't like this. Yeah, well, now well, I know yeah. how Lou feels, and exactly, I don't really. Exactly, you fuck wet. You know what? I realise I don't like it. Yeah, we'll come back on my side, no. please. I think you need to chat yourself before you rat yourself, please. Yes. Holy shit, this sucks. Thank you, Willie. It's about time I had what someone on my fuck side. What is happening? Yeah. So now you want to leave, don't you? I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm I, out. No, no. I actually am leaving. Good. I, that's all it took. <laughs> He's done. Finally. You've been sitting here confident. Thank God. For fucking. A year and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Two years. Yeah. 
two, two jokes. And I'm like, no, ego's bruised. I'm done. I'm just... No, no it's no, they started despicable. A, they started attacking me. And then he jouch goes on at um, 60 minutes with Tracy Grimshaw. <laughs> a current, a current affair, whatever the fuck it's called. No, if Trace, it was I just felt backed into a corner. Yeah. I didn't feel like there was anywhere for me to go. Well, I mean, they didn't have an HR department where we were. We what were was too, I meant to do? independent. I had no one to turn to. What was I meant to do? And so, Mr. Archer, what actually happened to you? Well, one of them made a rat pun. Uh-huh. Yeah. And that was nearly the, yeah, about the extent of it. And, and it you, was just too much. You were done. I was oh, so no, I, I, I've got a backbone and I thought, I'm standing up for myself. Yeah. I'm out of here. I am out of here. I'm a strong, independent man in media. I am not going to stand here and cop this on the chin. <laughs> or lack thereof is what they said next. Do you need to It's okay. Um, fuck, when we do this. I don't know where we were. I don't know what we were talking about. <laughs> Willie, you remember? Um, no, I've got no idea. Uh, Speeches. Five to seven minutes. Your wedding. That we went, we have, we've done that. So oh, you food. aggressively said, no, this is here. It's usually when you're sitting down, cunts. Oh, <laughs> great. You. Good memory. So if someone decides to sit down wedding, someone decides, you know what? I've had a couple of whiskeys. I've also doubled, indulged in a few, someone? few reds. Okay. So definitely not me. I hate red wine. If you, they've got their red wine lips. They've got the glass with them as they're talking. They've been rambling for 15 to 20. Everyone stops listening because no one's, no one's that entertaining. Mm. You know what I mean? Especially not you. Right, Willie? Willie. No comment. Damn it, I thought we were back. Um I'm going to start bringing in treats like the old witch from Hanselina and Gretel. Oh, yeah, to bribing Willie. Bribe Will. Willie. Bribe Will. You go, hey, I bought you these brownies before the podcast. Yeah, and start tearing he, strips off Jarch, would you? He's on my side. Yeah, Ooh. that's fair. Take note after Jarch finishes. It's Trinket Tuesday. It's Jarch's turn. Also got something to say on that. So all the blokes probably, because if you break the seal, I don't know, that's what I was saying. If, I don't know if you know this. You break the seal, you, you, you're done. It can Not be just so, blokes. so. Is it bad with birds too? Oh, if I break the seal, I'm I'm pe- peeing all over myself. Freak, frequent, so frequent. But that's what we are. We're a piss. Yeah, we're a I'm piss pissing perfor- everywhere. We're a piss performing podcast. My gown dress is soaked. I've seen you, buddy. I just thought it was due. I thought you'd been dancing on the ground and fallen, but it's that was pure urine. Yep. Good to know. So what happens is they finally finish their speech. Fucking half the wedding piss bolts out the bloody marquee. Literally. Good, good stuff. To piss. Yeah. So that I'll be sitting there going, oh, fucking this guy, just shut the fuck up. You know, because you got to wet. So it's just. But then you actually got up one wedding and said, shut the fuck up. I did. Knocked out the um, the groom. Yeah. Even though he wasn't talking. Yeah. His grandmother was, but she was just going on. And he, you know, and growing up, he had these beautiful pair of boots. You loved them, didn't you, Daniel? And you know, and he'd and he'd walk in them, and he would he'd go on the bloody fairy the Ferris go round. And we <laughs> what knew, the fuck am I called Mary go round? We knew from a young age that he was going to be a heartbreaker with those big blue eyes, oh, didn't we, Daniel? We did, didn't we, Daniel? We also didn't know that he'd become a safe breaker, you know, during his thieving stage. Did nine years in state penitentiary, but we don't talk about that as a family. We've let that go, haven't we, Daniel? She said three shandies, and now she's ready to reveal all the family secrets. And my husband was an adulterer, <laughs> and he was a pig. Worked in advertising in he the He was six- a <laughs> I found the pictures. <laughs> and I've always hated your wife, my boy. She is a grade a whore. Right home, Nana. Nana, get Nana off the stage. <laughs> Too far. Too far. Oh, she's an old bitch. She is. Jack, this is the character. I know. Not us. But c- still, the language and the, you two. You know, and at the end no. of the day, I thought the Germans had a point in World War II. Nana! For fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> you know, the crazy Nana. Old yeah. people. Old people. I know. They're racist. I know. So anyway, Trinket Tuesday, yeah. huh? <laughs> We're getting a lot of hate for old Trinket Tues. <coughs> no. This is why we get hate for Trinket Tues. Because our podcast is released on a wed. It's exactly right. Wednesday. A Wednesday. So one of the bedwetters was like, 
Hey, idiots. Hey, idiots. You know, we hear this on Wednesday. You record it on Tuesday. We hear it Wednesday. This drink of Tuesday doesn't make sense. And I'm like, yeah, but considering the the quality of this podcast, yeah. I think it's almost perfect. Agree. And then I thought to myself, I thought, okay, Louisa, do oh. some preparation here. What could we do if it was on Wednesday? And I thought, wacky Wednesday. And then I just thought, no, drink it Tuesday. We'll stay. Drink it Tuesday. And if you day. don't like it re- being released on a Wednesday, but it's a drink it Tuesday and it's confusing you what day of the week is, Suck fuck eggs. you. Oh, my. Oh. I, saw, no, I saw one comment saying, uh, you guys always talk about how this is live. That was the and thing. That you guys are stupid. We we're, were stupid. But, that, like, but, that hey, is the, but that's the joke. Yeah. The joke is that we go, oh, we no. cook it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all the time we, you hear us going, let's cut that. How yeah, yeah, we yeah. do that live? Yeah, correct. Just. If this was live, this wouldn't have lasted three episodes. Oh, no, not even one. Not even zero. Not even 0. 0.7 of a basketball. Fuck, good point, man. You win. Do you want, should we do Trinket Tuesday? Yes. Do uh, I close my eyes? Should, do, am I closing my eyes? Close your eyes. Am I putting, I'm scared. No, you're fine. Am I putting my hands out? Yep. Hold on. Uh, you're fine, though. Why is this scary? There we go. Hands out. I'm ex- no! Hands out. It's one of my joggers. So, so the hawkers. So I I, I I I messaged you last night and I said, <laughs> Hey, don't forget it's Trinket Tuesday tomorrow. Didn't get a reply, so I thought he's he's seen it and he's 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 doing hard work finding his trinket <laughs> for Trinket Tuesday and he sounded me a stinky hawker. <laughs> A Clifton nine, to be precise. A stocker. A great shoe, but a stocker. Nonetheless, not a trinket because we can't technically put that on the wall or do much with content with it, can we? That's right. I've double crossed you. Oh, a trinket. He's very good. So it's my other hawker. <laughs> oh fuck! She read me like a book. Now my eyes still closed. Close your eyes. Now I don't want you. I'm going to put this in your hand. I don't want you to open it. Open your eyes until I tell you. It's not live. I promise you this is absolutely It feels like it's a frog or don't something. Open your Sorry, eyes, I just got scared you had like a frog or okay, something. Just don't open your eyes. Okay? Keep them closed, you fuck. Uh, I can see closed. your eyes moving. Jack, Edward Arch, they're closed. I just thought you'd have like a live frog or something. No. I ate that before. It was going to well, be like a frog. Well, like a goldfish or No, that would be RSPCA. Correct. Oh, uh, whatever that's. RSCPA? So, you're okay. Sorry. So this is kind of changed me. a little bit because I've just been recently burnt by you two. But this was going to be for you because Willie and I had a really good bond going. <laughs> we would absolutely burn you if you could open your eyes. It's a first aid kit for all the tremendous burns I was planning to do with Willie <laughs> over the next few years of the podcast. So you could bandage yourself up with every single burn. Now, because he's been a traitor this episode, Perfect. seems like it's quite relevant to me as well. This is actually quite... I actually need one of these in my house. Well, this goes got to stay set. here. Would you like me to clean your ears? No, thank you. Come over here. No, no, no. Do you know what weird Willie, thing... you need your buds, your ears clean? No, no, I'm good, thanks. Do you know the weird thing with those things? Every time I do my left ear, it makes me cough. You need to go to the doctor. You know... With, with an earbud. Yeah, every time I do my ears, actually, I cough. Oh, dude, Can like I my right's a... fine. The left, oh, I cough every time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take these because I've got blisters. I'm going to ask a question here. Do you like what I've done here? I love it. Thank you for this, for Trinket Tuesday. It's a burn, for, it's a burn kit. Well, it's it, it's okay today because I haven't been burnt. You it, haven't. It, it'll, it, it could will still come. come. It will come. Now, question. When was the last time either of you went to the doctor? Fuck knows. Like, Probably about 10 years ago. Actually? Yeah, I, don't, I didn't really get sick. You, you haven't been to the doctor in 10 years. You, how, how long do you reckon? Shit. It's probably not 10 years, but I can't no, really remember. No, mine wouldn't be 10. It might be fucking year. What is with you blokes? T- something happened to 10 Day Day, and I said, well, go, like, go to the doctor, and he goes, nah, nah. And I go, do you, do you even have a doctor? He was like, oh. I don't have a doctor. And I said, when was the last time you went to the doctor? He was like, I don't know, maybe 17, 18? You're 30. You went to the doctor in 12 years? My doctor is still Dr. Allen in Walker. What? I go to my doctor like once every two weeks. I know, buddy. Does it count with I the, keep that place the COVID afloat. things? I, I know you do. Does huh? that count? Going to get your COVID snozzy? No, no, not that. To go to the actual doctor. I can't remember the last time I was at the that's doctor. A po- that's disgraceful. I actually don't know what I did. 
You would have had to have gone to the doctor. You've got all these broken bones and stuff. I haven't had a broken bone for a while. Now, what about when you had that uh, the tumour cut out? Foot. Jesus Christ. I've got... Judge what? Me. When you had the tumour cut out? Oh, I had about fucking 10 of the cunts cut out. That was... Mate, that was 2018. That was you and Chapo, right? Shout yeah. Out to Chapo. We had... Um, we call each other Snack because it was cis neck and none of them. You guys were working for nine to five? Then we were working for nine to five. Trying hard to not die from these lumps in both our necks. Well, I've got brain ones. Yeah, you got brain ones. <laughs> Which explains a whole heap, doesn't it? Oh, Jack. Well, it just makes you look You can't pretty. make You're jokes about. You just put one on the left. I guess so. <laughs> Don't let the Queensland bandits see this. I got my leg right up. Jarch is putting plasters on my back. We've got the wide shot, so it's getting everything. Jarch is putting plasters on my um, it's getting everything. blisters. Safety. Thanks so much. Now, tell me about... Put that on the set. What? The, oh, the, so the burn kit. So sorry. Place it on the set next to Kevin. Now, now that we've had Trinket Tuesday, which was a little bit... A little bit underwhelming. Fuck off! Compared to mine. Fuck off! Wait, what was yours again? The delicious jelly beans. Oh, yeah, great. Something that was just fucking... Spicy. Disposable, gone, no, not, not there forever, doesn't involve the well, set. I'll, I'll bring them back but and put them up there. Mine was relevant to the podcast. Mine was a bit of fun, it was a bit fancy, and mine? practical. Anything goes wrong in this fucking place, we've got a first aid kit. Mine was also relevant because someone's a little bitch and doesn't like spice. I'm a philanthropist. Please continue. I was going to say, how was your weekend? What did you do? You went back to the farms. Mate, I was back there. It was good. Shearing sheep, browsing. What else do you reckon I did? Fucking kicking some belly black, belly black snakes. Yeah, some belly black snakes. You've never quite been able to get that one, have you? Red belly black snake. Real belly belly black snake. It was known as the gully balala. Red, red belly black snake. Red belly black snake. You know, what I did is I uh, trained. Took it pretty easy. I um, any whiskey, a little bit of whiskey, but nothing serious. What's nothing serious to you, mate? Though? When I was watching the Chooks absolutely fucking monster the South, I had a couple of whiskeys when and we had pizza for dinner, but I didn't get drunk. So three, three whiskeys. It was good. A gentleman's ten, <laughs> but who's counting these days, kid? No, it was actually really nice. Did, did you see my? I bought a new um, clay pigeon yes. thrower. We, we, I've got to. I, we we really need. Do you to come. say one more time, Louisa? I've got to come to the farm. I must. You must. Yes, you must. Well, when? Come this weekend. Oh, you can't. Ten dates here. Um, fuck, we'll figure it out. But it was a lot of fun. So we just shot some clay pigeons. We bloody um. Mate, took it pretty easy, which was really nice. Well, you deserved that and it was well needed. I also got on the... Did you? The gun. Oh, you did get on the guns? Yeah. What, yeah, Lou what? texted me before this podcast and she goes, hey, Judge, I'm like, hey, darling. And she's like, is it okay if I talk about that I shot a gun? And I go, Let, I'll just figure this out when I'm in fucking person with her. So we get to the studio, I'm like, run me through that. And you're like, well, isn't that illegal? I go, No. It's not illegal to shoot a gun. It feels it. It would be illegal for you to own it. You don't. You're not a license. You don't have a permit. You don't have a, li- a gun license, firearms license. I I do. Yes. So you own. You can only shoot one around someone who's got one. I dare say so. Well, I I was pretty good. You saw me. I went pow pow. pow. Yeah, you're pretty handy. Yeah. Did you hit the target? Well, it was a golf ball. Yeah. Oh, did you hit that? I think I had it the first go. Pow. You think or you know or you know? Well, the boys were like, yeah. So that feels like I had it first go. You didn't see it? Well, I was too concentrated on the thing going pa-pomph into my shoulder. So you weren't sh- you weren't concentrating on the thing you were supposed to hit? You were concentrating no, I was sh- concentrating on both, but then my brain also went to pa into my shoulder because it was a double gauge. Doof, doof. Stinks of a miss, doesn't it? Well, it stinks of a... double of gauge, a, was it? Stinks of an I'd be good with a AK-47. You reckon you'd be good? <laughs> Let's go to VR. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't do it, kid. Still can't do it. But yeah, I went <coughs> boom. So you had a bit of fun, uh, yeah, mate. I, fun. yeah, we are. Uh, th- there is actually nothing. I would argue. It, it's fucking the most fun you can have with your pants on. Sitting there, crack a tin, 
Shoot some clays. That's illegal. No, a tin of Coca-Cola, you idiot. Have a soft drink. Shoot some clays. Enjoy yourself. Freedom. Get the smell of gunpowder, the explosion. That's of the, the one that it goes out of the machine. It goes pew, into the air and you go... Pew, yes. Bob so, so I've I've got a clay... I just want to say it again. I fucking know. You've said bob 45 <laughs> times. Sorry. It's addictive. <laughs> say it. Everyone say it on three. One, two, three. Bob Candle. Bob. I knew Fuck. What you were we supposed to say? What were we supposed to say? I knew I you said Babonf. Yeah, he said Babonf. You Did just you? He's copied straight yes. for no reason. I'm so sorry, sweet angel. I'll bring you more brownies. I'm back to Josh's team now. No, yes. I'll bring you more brownies. That burn kid's gonna come. What did you say? Candles. You said anal. No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. I didn't, I promise you. Oh. Um But Lou, I, 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 there's a question I wanted to ask you. Because I had a uh I had something come up. Is it your penis? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, mummy's learning. Bubble! Fi- fi- Finally, mummy's learning. Sorry, who, who, uh, who's, who's mummy? For clarification, your mummy. Oh, thank you. By the way, can you think of a time, because I just thought of this the other day, and it just made me giggle as to how ridiculous it was and how. It had the complete opposite effect of what I was trying to do. Can you think of a time where you've tried to be cool and it's backfired? You've actively tried to be cool <clears throat> and it's backfired. Mine is horrendous. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I feel like I tried to say something to a, a group of blokes about like a sports player or something. But I said the name completely wrong. And everyone was like, that's very incorrect. But, oh, it's a shit story because I can't remember who. But you get the gist. And I'd say most days. You, but do you, were you actively tried to be cool to impress someone? Well, I think I was trying to be like, yeah, it's so-and-so. <coughs> and they're like, well, that's yeah, No, it's not. not. Yeah. Petro Sivono Servo. It's Petro Sivono Servo. Yep. Mine's way worse than that. Good. I was at a rugby camp when I was like 13 years old, just coming into myself, you know, the, the formative years. Acting all right, and Things okay. are starting to grow. You're getting hair in places there wasn't hair before. <clears throat> it's a confusing time. I mm-hmm. was five foot eight, suddenly I'm six foot one, still weighed the same with, with acne. Not looking great. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm at this footy camp. I'd been horrendously bullied by the uh, coolest guys at the camp all weekend. I fucking hated the whole camp. I wanted to go home. The and where dudes, are they now? Hopefully brown bread. Fuck you guys. Fuck you, you Bullying my good mate Jack. Yeah, I was a nerd and I probably deserved it, but guess what? It was no. very mean. I'm looking <clears> down the barrel at you boys if you're watching. Why it was very I order? Mean. Why I order ba bomb for you? Okay. So... I'm not myself. I'm not my usual cool self at this camp. Comes to the end of the camp. I'm kind of happy. I'm in a good mood because this is over. I'm going home. Daddy's coming to pick me up. I'm not daddy, by the way. My it's actual, actual father. Dad. My father. Dad. So they're giving out gift packs to everyone that goes to the bloody camp. It consists of a fucking water bowl. This actually kills me telling this. Yeah, I, fucking, I can feel it in your oh voice. Mate. So I'm so down and out that I, I don't know why I thought this would sound cool because number one, it was self deprecating. Number two, it wasn't a cool thing to say. No. We get the bag. I'm 13 years old. We get the, the show bag, the gift bags. It's got like a footy tea in it, a drink bottle. Pull out the drink bottle. And I go, I see some of the cool dudes down there. I go, it's like the size of my dick. Now, when you, when you think about that, think of, and as soon as I said it, I wanted to, I wanted, I wanted to have a quick word with our creator upstairs <laughs> and ask him to end my tenure at this job that we call life. Because number one, because it was a miniature Drink bottle, right? So number one, <laughs> I've proclaimed I'm not happy about the size of it. <laughs> it's still much bigger than what a penis would be. But I've also then admitted to them seemingly that I'm not happy with the size of my cock. I've got a small dick. So I've... And did you look around like... Oh, yeah, guys. and they were just like, 
what uh-huh. the fuck? <laughs> and I wanted to die. Did you dead here? <laughs> no, he wasn't there yet. So I literally just went back up to the boarding houses where we had to stay while everyone was still on the field. And I was just like, <laughs> you fucking kicked this whole weekend, man. That, that, that was one of the worst performances. And you've ended it with a real bang. It's like the size of my dick. Not good, buddy. No. Oh, <laughs> good I stuff feel at all. Terrible for you. It was mortifying. What 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 were the cool kids doing to your weekend? So, dude, this this is actually kind of, kind of fucking funny. So, I believe my mate Brett was there with me. No, or was it my mate Toby? Toby Locke. I, yeah, love. I'll actually Locke. have to. I can't remember. Was Toby a cool Might kid? Might have been Toby's. Well, you and Toby both losers. No, nah, he probably he probably infiltrated the cool kids. But he was friends with you, the loser. Yeah. It was a half-half. It was uh, a mixture. Maybe a mixture, healthy mix of the two. Because we, we're all in these big dormitories. We're at a school called Farah, which is the school my old man went to. It's an agricultural school, right? We're there, and all these cunts that went there were the Farah boys. So they, it's their home turf. They're, they're comfortable. I'm coming from Walker. I've never stayed in a dorm. So you're the outcast. Yeah. Sorry, Miss Jackson. And one, one, of, my, one of my... One of my... Um, Sorry, Mr. Archer. <laughs> <laughs> I am for real. Never yeah, my son just cried this whole fucking camp. <laughs> he cried by the blinding lights of his lamp. Sorry, Mr. Archdale. Your son was bullied. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, we're laying there. It's like lights out. And me and my mate, whoever was there, was talking. And I was like, bro, I had this bloke tell me this yarn the other day that he walked into the science lab and he called this bloke fucking a test tube. A test tube. Mm. Think about the size of a test tube, by the way. So, oh, yeah. you know, and I'm like, what? Uh, anyway, so I'm spinning this, retelling this yarn. And I'm like, um, yeah, he was like, apparently he walked in. This dude was like trying to like get into it with a test tube. And I'm like, that is so, number one, dangerous. You know, it's made glass. of glass. It's brittle. It's also. Shards. You know, they're not big. And like, why? Why? You know what I mean? So I'm, sp- I'm retelling this yarn. Big main bully. The big old main, cool, big, fucking tough, hot guy. You fuck test tubes. I went, what? He goes, heard you telling a yarn. You, apparently you fucked a test tube. And I said, no, no, no. Not, no, not me. <laughs> the guy, I was telling about a guy that walked in on a bloke that did it. And he goes, test tube. Oh, he bought, it was like a movie. He's like, oh, boys. Fucking what a test tube. So all weekend they called me <laughs> test tube. <laughs> I know what the podcast is called. <laughs> test tube. <laughs> They called me fucking test tube. And he was too big. But I couldn't I fight him. Something? He was with all his mates. Uh, uh, it was thinking just Thinking back to shit when you were younger, like kids are so mean, don't you reckon? Yeah, but you need a bit of that. Yeah, I guess so. You need a healthy dose, not too much. That was enough. That was heavy. Because I was in such a new world. It's I didn't like know anyone. When that guy told me to go eat another cream pie. Who? Fucking kill him. Name the cunt, I'll shame the cunt. Ba boom! Ba boom! Wait, what did he? Oh yeah, the, 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 oh yeah, the bakery owner. Yeah, but no, he was. Right? He was Didn't his dad own the bakery or something? No, he was oh. just a random kid from school going another cream pie. I probably didn't need another cream pie. Uh, do you? How are you? All right? Mm. No, no, Lily, you can talk to me. He was probably trying to help you by telling me to eat another one. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think he was trying to make me a big bubble. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel ya. I feel ya. Yeah, it's funny those um those experiences, whilst horrific. Very humbling. Tough. Make you who you are today. Yeah, still wish it kinda didn't happen. Yeah. Would right. love would love to not lay in bed sometimes and think about how I said this is as big as my dick when talking about a free drink bottle at a at a rugby camp mm. where I'd been the loser the whole weekend, but it's all good, test tube. Don't worry about it, buddy. So that you must have bung me that first time, kit. <laughs> I think it's getting its first use. Give me the kit. Give me the kit. Oh, t- there's a potential of a tit slip there. Not much. Not watch much out potential. For that, Willie, not just much in case potential, the queen. <laughs> just watch out. <laughs> just in case. What you going braless? I never wear a bra. Free the nut. Is that the word? Is, is, have you ever been like really fucking? Where is this going? Like, is that is your worst memory of being told to eat another cream pie? Uh, mm, 
Nah, it's all I can think of. Josh is just bandaging himself up. Oh, you just burnt me. Because yeah, test you. This is why we're here. Wrap it up. That's like my go. daddy should have. Fuck. I've said oh. it too many times. Too many fucking times, <laughs> test tube. We've had enough testy. Test tube. Test tube. All right, Tubi. Oh, my God. Let it go, Tubi. Mate, it's just those things where, you know when you just can't win, when it's just like you're in such a vulnerable position that every decision you make is wrong. And you I just would have loved to have been a fly on the wheel. you going, <laughs> looks like my dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like something on like Dude Where's My Car or like one of those teenage movies. Oh mate. It so just good. It wasn't <laughs> It just wasn't my time. No. But look at you now. Yeah, w- what? You're very successful on a very highbrow podcast that <laughs> watching <laughs> peeny blinders most nights. Right there, Linda. Right fucking there. Oh yeah, Linda, right. Oh, I've arrived. <laughs> Oh, I'm appalled at who would listen to this podcast. I've arrived. <laughs> well, it's just fucking arrived, Linda, right? Get on the hotline. Let's play some red light, green light. Jack, please do take the honours of red light, green light. Well, give me the jingle, sister. Give it. I want a reggae. I want a reggae red light, green light. Red light, green, green, green light. They love the green, the rusters. The ganja. That they do. <laughs> Come on, Testy. I ain't got all day. <laughs> I'll fucking test you. Oi. That's going to be I guarantee you can't be yelling at the, the cunts in the street. Test you. Going, test you. <laughs> Retribution, Lou. <laughs> Finally. Oi, test you. Te- hey. This feels of another song. Test tube and Stinky Lou. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should almost be like a um, an adventure based storytelling song about an adventure that Stink- Test Tube Boy and Stinky, Stinky Lou went on. <laughs> St- <laughs> Write that down, Willipedia. All right. Red light, green light. Wetting your toothbrush before you brush. Red. Fuck it. Go raw. I raw dog it. Well. Probably use another term, couldn't we? Well, it's just disgraceful. Sorry, Willie. Well, you, you know, no, it's just disgraceful. Do you know TDD said that to me? He goes, "Ah, oh, you don't wet your toothbrush either." Like sometimes they might, sometimes they might. Why? Well, I've never got it. Just I've never understand wetting it before. What's in. the difference? Why? Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. But like, I'm why just, will you? Yeah, just out of pure brain. Not even knowing. Brain. Yeah. I may one time. Yeah, I've never done it, mate. But people think it's psychopathic not to. To not do it. So you guys just put toothpaste on, on and yeah. then go straight and then, in. No, well, and then wet the, wet the toothpaste. From yeah, you wet the toothpaste. I wet it all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sometimes I just straight raw dog it. Oh, you'll the go tooth- straight raw dog no water. The tooth, Yeah, the tooth is straight in my mouth. Yeah, that's, that's some like Jeffrey Dahmer. Dar- that's some Jeffrey Dahmer. That's like a delic, man. That's Ted Bundy sort of stuff. That's yeah. what I thought you guys were talking about, and that's I was thinking you were both a bit fucking... No, dumb. I think that wetting the toothbrush, then putting the toothpaste on... And then do they wear wet or are they just happy with the wet? I Whereas just, I'm, I'm toothpaste on, wet it all, brush the teeth. I mix it up. Sometimes it's wet, sometimes it's dry. And I don't know. It just just depends on your mood. I suppose. <laughs> I suppose it just depends on how you're feeling that day. Just Simply, text your mum after this and say perhaps don't listen to this one. I think she'll be very disappointed in you, Testy. What, what would be different? Well, this one feels... Like, we had a three-hour meeting before, which was very inappropriate. And then we sort of dragged that into Into this. this. Yeah. Like, remember that big blue thing? Yeah. You were pretending to use it as a phallus. No, that is... a giant is cock and you were rooting the air with it. That is exactly what you were doing. <laughs> no, you're not cutting that. It's exactly what you're doing. It was a foam roller and Lou used Check. it as a big peenie. As a big pe- as a big peenie, because peenie's the word of the month. <laughs> She was just dry humping the air. And guess what? We were giggling like school children. Because it's funny to see an adult do that shit. All right? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. It's oh, funny. We, we <laughs> literally have the maturity of 13-year-olds. Yeah. I like the word of the month, though. Write that down, Willie. And this one's peeny, for sure. Peeny's for sure. Or testy. 
It's well. Or Tubi. Tubi. We put his peony in a testy. <laughs> Oh. All right, so you're a bit of a psychopath, man. Willie, pretty normal, righto? Red light, green light, two and one shampoo and conditioners. Uh, uh, dude, g- green is oh, fuck. red. Grow up and put <laughs> some love into that mullet. M- miss me with that put shit. Put some love into that mull, bro. I, I, I went down to get fucking. You went st- <laughs> <laughs> st- oh, it's late. St- Steph, it's not. Well, it is because I'm on New Zealand time. It's technically 7.30. Oh, Jesus Christ. PM. Right. Are you all right? That's bedtime for Luke. I've been up since 2.40. Champion, you went to sleep again. For an hour. I could read the text. It wasn't an hour. It was two. Three it's not enough, half. though. It was three I got to sleep half. at 12 o'clock, woke up at 2.30. Is little Jackie okay? Is your tum-tum okay? No, I Do you own... need me to pet your little tum-tum? Hey, sugar tits. Is Jackie working <laughs> I only talk like this when you Does sook Jackie and Jackie wake you a little tum-tum rub? Yeah. Come over here. No. Oh, car. can I actually tell you something? No. Nah. Fuck you it. You got indigestion? Bed weathers. No. One of my most hated things is people touching my stomach. Come here. No, Give dude. I actually, it. it'll fucking enrage oh. me. Well, dude, look who's I, coming I, over. Lulu, I promise you. I, I don't. Don't kick me in the... I, 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 I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. I, I'll fuck you up. You want to play this? Sweating, I'm that'll, fucking test tubed up. Teach I'm fucking. Jarchi and I were having a little fight. <laughs> Just <laughs> children, Willie fixing up baskets. Sorry. Um. So you said there's three in one champion. Oh, I said, I'll just get you the two. And she goes, don't you fucking yeah. you pig. And I'm like, what? You just get both in one. I can't understand the difference. Well, you got a shampoo your hair. Usually twice is very good for you. I learned that from Zoe Foster Blake. Yeah. You went to shampoo. Or maybe that was clean. No, I'm pretty sure she said shampoo your hair twice. I'm pretty sure it was her. And then you condition it. But, but. You can't do it all in one, Why Jack, not? Because that's just not how the cookie crumbles. I don't crumbles. wash my hair. It's not how the cookie crumbles. But you should wash that. Neither mullet. do I. Wait, so you guys don't. <laughs> oh, Willie's bald. It's a shock. Wait, so you don't wash your hair with anything? No. Nah. That's disgusting. You're doing a lot of sweating do at the moment. Do you want to feel my fucking hair? But you're doing a lot feel of sweating mullet. at the moment. Feel this mullet. Feel it. Come feel on. how luscious it is. It's, it's very. Oh. You see what I mean? It's very greasy, though. No, it's not. You just no, went, but oh, see, no. Oh. It's soft, but it's greasy because you don't use shampoo and condition. The natural oils of your head wash your hair. That's a fact, sis. Shampoo companies. The potential benefits of skipping shampoo include healthier hair and scalp that produces a balanced amount of oil, more vol- voluminous hair. Vol- voluminous. Voluminous. Volu- voluminous. Voluminous. <laughs> fucking idiots. We are fucking idiots. Better, Better textured hair, hair less, and less need for styling, styling products, products, less exposure to potentially irritating chemicals, less, less plastic, plastic packaging waste. Yeah, so I'm better, I'm better hair than you and I'm better for the environment. You don't have better hair than I'm me. I'm more eco, eco-friendly. My hair is very nice. You have lovely hair, but, but you also pollute the planet for your own self-benefit. You say, I want to walk pretty today. And then you kill a dolphin. Then you kill a dolphin. I've literally seen you peg an empty shampoo bottle at an orca's head. Said, take that, you you aquatic cunt. <laughs> you have lost your marbles today. <laughs> I've seen, I've literally went to it. Remember we were in that? No, no, Jack, in, no next, you, next red light, green light. No more gags. Do you know? No more jokes. Oh, we don't want any more jokes on a comedy podcast. Remember when we hey, were in um, New that's Zealand? very has, rich calling it a comedy the, podcast. <laughs> New Ze- well, that's what Spotify calls, so that's what we're calling it. In New Zealand, the most beautiful rivers, like those Lord of the Rings, aqua, aqua blue, like turquoise rivers. I was driving along the road in New Zealand the other day and I just hear this maniacal laughter. I'm like, what the fuck? I wind down the window. I just hear, <laughs> Lou had two giant bottles of two-in-one shampoo and was just squeezing them into the river. And I saw this, I literally saw a kiwi bird kicking shampoo out of its eyes like this. <laughs> and I think it even said, please no more. Dead fish all around her. She said, fuck the environment. Look at my belly arch, bitch. <laughs> Double fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad boom! I'm bad boom! I'm finna get this blow dried, motherfucker! <laughs> As you squeeze two bottles of shampoo into, into the I eyes, put them into, into the, a, uh, I put the them eyes into of a, a sperm whale. I put them into a gun and just got bad boom! Yeah, you were bah, bah, bah. you were just super soaking <laughs> the environment. So basically, you are bad for the environment. I'm eco friendly. Good to know. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, we have fun. We did. Oh, I've got to do one. 
Yeah, that's how the game works. <laughs> well done. Red light, green light, done off. We've done this one before. Well, we probably have because we're f- fucking idiots. I agree. I agree. Uh-huh. Popping other people's pimples. We have and green. True. Cool. Right, oh, should we do the hotline? hotline Willie? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the hotline, Willie. Just be quiet and let Willie do his job, please. Now, Willie, please go. You Are you going to do a hotline girl. jingle? Or? Hotline jingle, please, Lily. It's hot. Just a little line. Mm-hmm. Yes. Dude, don't Every give up on yourself. Every time we call. Okay. She probably should have given up on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go, bud. Hey, kids. You still haven't done the fucking final route. Oh. It's March of 2024. That's a good point. Nice job, fuckwit. We've been waiting. Oh, I love you. Anyway. That's all I have to say. Love you guys, bye. Love you too. Good reminding. I love how we get, like, aggression and then they all go at the end. Love you guys, bye. It is. it is. It's soft roasting. It's mildly confusing. It is. It's gaslighting is what it is. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> um, hey, we've got to do that. We do. So let's just we say let's much. just say a post-Easter roast is coming. Yep. Post-Easter, roast three will happen. Remember the, remember the rules, sister. Loser has to get a tattoo. Fuck. That is actually the rules. That doesn't bother me so much. I've got a few of them. I don't Lulu, clean skin. Interesting steaks. Shit. <laughs> you better who, come with who that. Who came heat. up with that? Were you we, part we, of that? I was part of it. Collectively. I didn't really think we'd get to this point, but now it feels like testy, maybe right. Yeah, this was an early, early iteration of the. I think mm. maybe we thought we'd have four episodes left in us. I think this is our last step. You done? <laughs> I think I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Lou's knocking off. Um, Okie dokie. Cool. Yeah, coming. For well, 5.27 a.m. on Wednesday, the 20th of March, and I'm listening to the lolly gobble fucking whatever it is, fucking <laughs> new one. Please, please. <laughs> the Josh says there's three months left on this fucking podcast. Well, you know what? If you're having that fucking attitude, I'm fucking done now. You can get fucked. <gasps> fuck you, Josh. And fuck you, Stinky Lou. Oh, my Go God. Go and fuck yourself. Oh, my dear. I do. To- well, I've got one thing to say about that. Hit it. Off speakerphone, 45 <laughs> seconds, phone up to your fucking ear. Whereas I thought you sounded beautiful, mate, so. Sounded like he was recording from an orca's mouth. Yeah, well, probably because full of fucking shampoo, knowing you. And, co- and conditioner, two in one, three in one. What's the third thing? What's the third thing if it's shampoo, conditioner, and what? Serum. T- and body wash? Turtle tears. Serum. <laughs> Serum. No, I don't know. I just made that off my head. Syrup. Yeah, wouldn't it Serum. be shampoo, conditioner, and body wash? Surely, yeah. Three in one. Three in one. Hey, mate, sorry that we made a, a brief joke about ending the podcast. This is not going anywhere. You don't need to leave. We were just, we were just we're, gamming. We're building houses in the farms and we're having a tunnel underneath and then we go up to the top. So we're fine. Everything's fine. studios are. It's fine. Where will we have the farm? Tamworth. Mm. It's beautiful. Our flight to Sydney. Good I, house prizing. I'd prefer to be closer to Sydney. Okay. North, uh, south Tamworth. Like Berry, Barrel, Mossvale area. Uh, okay. We'll, fit, well, it just depends on how this After the cop Roses are red. Lou and TD, D tried to watch Django. <laughs> they only got through a bit because then they went bango. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Well done. Uh, That's good stuff. Roses are oh. red. I tried to watch Django. My dad paused it and said, you've got a head like a half-sucked mango. Hmm. Self-deprecating. Yeah. So you happy with that? Same as test you. Ah, fuck. Uh (laughs) (laughs) On to the next, Willie, before we get down another Roses of Red tunnel, please. No, Jack. (laughs) Jasper. Gachi, Stu, how are we, you little senoritas? Um, Just an idea from my dad, whose name is actually Stu, um, and he's in a little band, and he loves replacing the word you in songs with... Stew. For example, he'll be like, what I like about stew? 
your hold me tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, so I'm not creative like you, Judge, so I think this is a little segue for you to make a little jingle, please. Okay. Anyway, I want to hear it. Love yous. Hooroo. Okay. That's your homework for Friday's episode. You no, are save it. So beautiful. Save it. To me. I want a compilation for Friday's episode. Write it down. Of stew songs. Stew songs. Yes, please. Strongs. Strongs. So hold on. So stew song compilation. You replace the word you with yep. stew. Okay. So that you don't forget because you're an idiot. Wasn't he in a band called Stew Too? I love that Neo song about me. Me and Stu. <laughs> it took a while, but I'm happy with it. Oh, it was a pausing for a fit. Okay, one more, Willie. <laughs> hey, fuckwit. <laughs> just looking at um, Jarchi's story the other day, and he's got a fucking bracelet on. Green wrist. What's the go, mate? Take the shit off. It looks like a fucking infection. Like fucking mossy green Shit. Okay. Mummy doesn't like it. <laughs> I'm mummy, by the way. <laughs> Bye, cunts. Okay. We get a lot of comments on that. Why do Oi, you wear it? Listen, a lot of people fucking comment on this. A lot of people, a lot of y'all don't get it. This is a copper bracelet. It, it is an old wives' tale, an old bushy wives' tale, that this not only helps with circulation, but is a preventative for arthritis. Seeing as I've had fucking four surgeries on this hand... I like wearing this because maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. I also think they look cool. The green is just part of it because it's copper and it reacts. The copper reacts with your skin, so you get a bit of green. I mean, fuck me dead. It isn't the biggest fucking deal. Cry me a river. Exactly right. Cry me a river. No, it says here, yeah, improved cardiovascular function, improved neuron signaling. It looks signaling, hideous, Josh. Better immune system function, higher bone mineral density, See increased this collagen production, See reduction in free radical production. See yeah, that, bro? It, work, it looks ugly. No, well, to Looks you like it does. Looks like you got it from the $2 shop. Bro, Where'd you get that? The toilet store? You're wearing double white denim. What are you, a Backstreet Boy in 1991? <laughs> yep. Miss me with that shit. Hey, oh, Jachi's wearing some new pants, and guess what? Woohoo! They got a little flare to them. Kid's got some flares on. You He's got some boot cut jeans. You look like the couch. <laughs> you look like... You look. You know what you look like? No, like do, you know, do you know what you look like? No. You look like a... Uh, a family, so let's just say cashed up. You're a cashed up Bogan family, and you're going to go and take a big family photo together down by the pier. All in white. All white. Lift your armpits up. I've been sweating. It's hot. Lift them up. That, that doesn't embarrass me. Wouldn't be wearing me. that T-shirt if I was you, kid. Spread them. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, thank I think you that'll so probably, much for listening. That'll do us. We've had, we've, oh, we'll do it next one. We've had we'll to fo- we've had to focus for four hours. That's it. We're done. And goodbye. Hey, love you, bedwetters. Keep on pissing. Hooray.